now former Repu Republican presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson, who's now a Trump campaign advisor. Doc, good to see you tonight. So let's say the system is rigged. Let's just say it is. Why is he going after the Republican leadership for rigging it? Is the Re Republican leadership rigging the, the, the ballot boxes and, and gearing up the media to be in the tank for Hillary? Uh, no, of course not. Uh, I think he's a little bit miffed in, in terms of why they aren't investigating some of the allegations that have been made in places like Philadelphia where there are huge numbers that voted for Obama and like zero for Romney. But that's, uh, just, you know, those few, are that's that, just in a few counties. There, there, there are all these precincts, I should say, and in some precincts, Romney and McCain got zero votes, and in other precincts, they got many votes, and in some of these little precincts, it's only like 100 people voting, so it's not its not that suspicious that right. the Republican yeah, got I, I think, Yeah, I think the point is that, you know, we obviously, it's too late to do anything for this election, but we should be looking at the integrity of our voting system. I was talking to someone last week who said they went to vote in their last election, and uh, they weren't asked for an identification of any type. You know, those, those are things that really could easily be rectified. But I think what's really being talked about here is the media and the excessive amount of attention that they've paid to, you know, the allegations against Trump. And almost nothing with these massive things that are going on with the uh, emails and with the leaks with Hillary Clinton. What that is doing is it is saying that that level of corruption, eh, let's just put our heads in the sand. And what is that saying to our children? If, if, if we continue to accept corruption, everybody's going to be corrupt. Well, let me That's ask you a question. Let me says. ask you a question. As somebody who was up against Donald Trump in the Republican primary season, do you see a difference in the way the mainstream media is covering him now versus the way they covered him back then? Oh, it's a massive difference, <laughs> yes. What is it? Uh, you know, well, during the primaries, uh, they were all too eager to hear everything he had to say and, you know, to, to put it, you know, in a, in a much better light than they are now. Now they've kind of turned against them and become instruments of the political class. Now, and remember, this election is not about Democrats and Republicans. It's about the political class versus the people. That's where the real difference is. And, and that's the reason that I actually think that Trump is going to win. Because I think the American people are actually wise enough to see what's going on. They but, recognize but that the media is very biased. You know, having benefited from some inherent bias of the media to promote the ratings machine, as he calls himself, in the primary season, is he really in a position now to complain when they cover him just, just as much now, but the coverage tone has shifted markably? And I might yeah, add, well, predictably. Sir.